there it is, what I, <laughs> what I wanted to show you today. Um, something called uh, Jammer. It's, um, it's a minimalist uh, networking framework that you can use for uh, game jams. Um, a game jam, if you don't know what it is, it's basically, uh, as we just talked about, uh, a weekend where you sit with other people and you make a game from scratch and you basically have like 48 hours or it depends, 24 hours. Uh, usually when you go to this kind of events, people they give you advices like, uh, don't make a multiplayer game because you're going to fail or it's going to it's going to be impossible for you and uh one day i wanted to uh, to prove them wrong so that it's possible to make multiplayer games basically uh as long as you come with your tools so here is a tool that uh, i've used already two two times for two games so it's basically yeah, it provides uh, a framework so you can build your game on top of it and have al already um, um like all of the network part that is uh, ready to be used. So it's available, you can, it's based on Node and it's m for now only targeted for a web-based game. So it has to be like a, a game in, made in a web browser or JavaScript, CoffeeScript or whatever. So to make Git a bit more fun today, it's not that nice to just watch a, you know, a GitHub page. So I made a quick uh, demo to, um, to showcase it basically to show the what is possible to uh, to do with this. Uh, so that I just built it like in just a few days, uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, last week I improved it a little bit for, for, for today, basically. So that's it. Um, everything uh, takes place on the same screen. And anyone with a phone can join as long as you uh, use that URL up there. So if I connect, that that is me, and I get on my phone uh, a different screen. So this one shows controls. So anyone can join now, and uh, so that's a, that's a tech demo more than a game. Uh, it's not really a game actually. Uh, the controls that you have is moving and switching. So if you switch, you can switch the position where you are. We have a, a second player, and uh, the color of the switch text is basically the color that you have on the, on the screen here, so we kind of know where you are, at least. And um, and the idea is just basically to make well, yeah exactly to make this move together. So I've never tried with more than two players, so it might be frustrating or we will maybe not make it, but it's kind of a, a test. And uh, to go with this, there is a some sound normally. So the pitch of the sound is just changes based on how close you are from um, the solution. Yeah, so, so the idea of the game is to make it straight. We have to make it straight so it looks like a, a, a tile. Uh, Basically, so we have like one, two, four, four squares. So I don't know who is uh, breaking everything now, but <laughs> it would be nice to skip. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> That's closer. Yeah. No. Who is uh, yellow? Yeah. That stay here, and then we can. Uh no, that's me. Sorry. Who is in the game? <laughs> Nice. So now we have more, uh, basically more slots. So it means that more people could uh, could join directly. But that's going to be insane, I think, because uh, uh, we have to coordinate basically. So the only uh, feedback, basically, for now, is the uh, uh, the sound. Uh, it helps a little bit, but when we are like more than uh, four or five, it's difficult to. Uh, to synchronize, I would say. There's one in the middle that looks good. Yeah, the web sockets, yes.
that you uh, that you can handle yourself, uh, handle it yourself. But uh, since it's based on Socket.io, um, Socket.io already has this uh, mechanism of uh, reconnecting automatically, as long as your server doesn't crash. Now we are getting pretty close. <laughs> One is uh, playing with us. Um. It's close, but not enough. <laughs> yeah, as I said, it's basically just uh, a proof of concept more than an actual design for a game, because it's fun to see, but actually playing, <laughs> maybe it's not that fun. <laughs> Well, yeah, at least uh, we tried it. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we can uh, skip to the next one, for example, and it's even more, so it's going to be, uh, I don't know. We can basically handle uh, yeah, uh, a lot of players. Uh, so if you have an ID for uh, some kind of uh, game ID uh, or experiment, uh, like how to say, so that uh, many uh, person can, you know, do it together, then it's uh, yeah, it's something that is nice to use. So that's it. Uh, I guess we can stop here because we won't make it in the end, otherwise. <laughs>